Apologies to Kyrie Irving. This is the best picture of a flat earth I could actually find. Now, this is a picture of how the earth actually looks. Now, we are not going to do a geography show today on the underrated, but we are going to talk about what I think is one of the most dangerous teams in the National Basketball Association with seven games to go. And yes, it is Luka Dantage and the Dallas Mavericks. That is the topic on the underrated NBA show today. All right, if you haven't had a chance yet, Ah, it's shameless plug time. Check out our big website at underrated.media. Now, in terms of the Dallas Mavericks, let's all just take, take a step back and be honest. There were times earlier in this season that I think a lot of people, including myself, thought this Dallas Mavericks team would most certainly actually have to live in the world that the Golden State Warriors and the Los Angeles Lakers are currently living in. That's right, the NBA play-in. But things have definitely turned around um, definitely in the last month and a half. The Dallas Mavericks, it's uh, unbelievable because they were so bad after the All-Star break, but they've turned things around. They've won nine out of 10 games. And quite frankly, Luka Dantage is just, as seriously, he is he's one of my top three players in the National Basketball Association to watch. I think watching any game that Luka Dantage is going to play in between here and the actual start of the playoffs is actually turning into must-see TV. We are running some video from what he did against what was the hottest team in the NBA in the Houston Rockets when Luka dropped just 47 points on the Rockets the other night. So listen, this isn't just all about Luka Dantich. We know how great Kyrie Irving has been throughout his career. We also know at this point that Kyrie Irving and Luka Dantich actually do work well together. Any of the speculation that came out last year after the trade went down, whether or not Kyrie and Luka would be able to coexist in a NBA franchise uh, seemed to be real. I mean, if you look at how bad they did play together last season, now, this season has been a completely different story. And sometimes in the National Basketball Association, when a big trade is made, it does take time. It, it doesn't always take time, but in this particular case, it took time for Luca and Kyrie to actually figure out how to play with each other. But look, those times are gone. The Dallas Mavericks and Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving all know exactly how to play with each other, at least right now. Now, uh, am I saying they're going to go to the Western Conference Finals? I don't know about that. But am I saying they are one of the most dangerous teams in the Western Conference? Yes. They are currently in fifth spot in the Western Conference. And I have to say their schedule... While it includes uh, one game with OKC, a couple games with the Warriors, another game with the Rockets, it also has the Detroit Pistons, if you know what I mean. Look, the Dallas Mavericks, the moves they made um, at the NBA trading deadline to bring in Daniel Gafford and P.J. Washington have been fantastic moves. Now, both of those players have played well at times. It's been really a rare case to this point where they both played really well in the same game. Some nights it's PJ, some nights it's Gaffer. Either way, both of those players have shifted how the Dallas Mavericks can play. They no longer have to just be a perimeter basketball team. They can actually play on the inside as well. Now, we know that the rookie Derek Lively has been, if you will, especially at the start of the season, 
a breath of fresh, fresh air for the Dallas Mavericks organization. Now, he's sort of uh, tailed off a bit. He's had a couple injuries here and there. And those things can certainly be expected when you're talking about a long season in the NBA. But there are other key pieces. The Tim Hardaway Juniors, the uh, Derek Jones Jr., Josh Green, and of course, Dante Exum, who can certainly light it up, assuming he's healthy at any given point. The Dallas Mavericks now have enough talent to actually be very dangerous in the Western Conference. Currently in fifth, an outside chance of moving up to fourth, but I suspect the Los Angeles Clippers will figure things out. In terms of Luka himself, his overall stats for the season are bordering in on a a triple-double. He's averaging over 34 points a game. He's averaging 9.1 rebounds a game and just under 10 assists a game. So he's he's not going to get the season triple-double stat unless he uh, uh, averages 25 boards a game for the next seven games, and that's not going to happen. But still, Luka Dantich has had an absolutely phenomenal season to this point. He is showing uh, a lot of leadership and maturity, both on and off the court. And I have to say, of all of the teams that have um, stabilized their situations in the past two months in the NBA, the one team that is the most fascinating to watch on a night in and night out basis is the Dallas Mavericks. All right, I want to know what you think. North America. Go ahead and drop in your comments. And of course, do check out our big new sports website. It is starting to blow up, as is this show. So thank you, North America, for your support. Underrated.media. Check it out for the underrated NBA show. I am Dave Jabal, wishing you all a tremendous rest of your sports viewing day. And to the guitar riffs. We go.